So good afternoon, everyone. Um, I wish you a very warm welcome to all of you, to, you know, to our webinar on employability skills for the future finance professional. Friends, uh, let me, uh, you know, go as, as uh, basic as possible in this. All of us, including myself, have gone through an era of change. And uh, proudly, we can say that now we all have evolved with time and changed uh, to reach where we have reached in terms of where we are. But uh, is that going to be taking us to the place where we all aspire to reach from the future standpoint? Maybe not. And that's how we thought that there is a good, good, good topic to have for this webinar and, of course, for the discussion that we would be anticipating now. Having discussion really uh, on it is really, really, really important. And that's the reason when we spoke to ACCA, who, you know, which is one of the most forward-looking accounting bodies, they were extremely, extremely happy to join us and, of course, speak to all of you guys. We have a lot in store today, I would say, in nutshell, so to discuss and what all we as finance professional need. So maybe, uh, you know, we, we really have to be geared up and be future ready. So hold on to your seats. There's a lot to come. To talk on this hot topics, uh, you know, I'll say topic we have uh, on the fever of the decade or the decades, if I may say, for the lack of better word. We have our eminent uh, panelists over here and I would like to welcome them all and, and, you know, for joining us. Just want to give a brief introduction to all of you. Uh, we have today uh, Mr. Rahul Puri who is from uh, ACCA and is currently the Head of Employee Relations for India at ACCA. His role involves contributing to the India employer strategy per se. It's, it's a big word, let me tell you that. And delivering the ACCA Global Thought Leadership initiatives to employers, which is something that any and every employer is looking forward to and which is where his role becomes all the more critical and imminent for anyone and everyone who daily is aspiring for a for an employment from the futuristic standpoint. He's very close to various corporates, all I can tell you that, and to corporate citizens like me and Himanshu for that matter. So who would have been a better choice than him to have here, have him here and talk to you what as to what the corporate is really looking at. So very warm welcome, Rahul, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Pankaj. Uh, then we have our industry specialist. So I, I couldn't resist uh, mentioning this word because I seriously and, uh, um, you know, from wholeheartedly uh, look forward to, uh, have been looking forward to uh, the support from the industry specialists all throughout my career. And I really requested this time one of the eminent uh, industry specialists over here thought that it would be great to have a discussion like this. We have today uh, Himanshu Sardana with us. He is a CA, ACCA, and an MBA. Oh, my God. And I've worked with various corporates across the globe. Some of them have been the future 500 companies across UK, Europe, and India. Today, we have him here to share his perspective as to how his journey has been and how is he seeing um, the corporate world changing from the futuristic standpoint. Uh, so welcome, Imanchu. I'm sorry if I missed anything to introduce you, but but that's what I, I really captured and I thought I'd share it with. No, no, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to the session. Sure. Uh, then we have the Prabhanshu Mittal with us, uh, you know, on the panel, uh, the, you know, one of the, the eminent uh, faces of ACC, all I can tell you that if you have been close to ACC, he is, he is also from ACC and is a senior business relationship manager. Uh, responsible for developing and supporting key relationship in you know in ACCA, especially in the north. And uh, all I can tell you is that we have been you know working with Prabhanshu very closely, and his his uh, thought process, his thought partnership of thinking about the the future of the finance, of thinking about the ACCA, of thinking about the the trades and the and the um, I would say the. Uh, in nutshell, what a student should be having is something that one would really relish to hear. So welcome, Prabhanshu. It's it's always a pleasure, my friend, to have you here. Thank you, Pankaj. Pleasure. And then we have uh, Mrs. Swati Dhingra. She is the founder and director of Intran Global, the approved learning partner for ACCA. And um, she comes with a very uh, mixed, mixed experience. I would say when I say mixed, it's more on the, on, on the uh, when I say mixed, it is more from the corporate plus the education plus the teaching and whatnot. She has been working extensively with various institutions uh, and students in mentoring and coaching them and really uh, have been successful uh, in terms of, you know, the journey that she has really led and, of course, the contribution that he has she has made to the student foot in me. Sorry for that. 
Welcome, Swati. Welcome on board. And it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Pankaj. And now, you know, last but not the least, my, you know, myself, my name is Pankaj Chingra, and I am the finance professional coming from the corporate background again, like Manchu. And I've been working in various corporates, uh, you know, to name some, the Wipro, BlackRock, and BCG of late, and whatnot. I'm privileged, my friends, all of you, to, you know, for you know, for all of you to have you, have, have you here. And uh, really want to thanks all of you for taking time uh, from your schedule and joining us. To start our proceedings, my friend, I have a, uh, I would not say agenda, but I have a broad uh, um, pillars that I really want to cover, which is something that, that I really want to cover and, and uh, have it for all of you. We will kick start with a comprehensive presentation from Rahul, since he being very, very close to the industry, it is always good to hear from him as to, as to what exactly the corporates are looking at and how uh, the future of finance is shaping up and the need of finances. And the overarching pillar that uh, that we will look forward from Rahul is to is to understand how ACC is helping in that and how um, uh, ACC is helping student to really look forward to the future and grasp the opportunity from the futuristic standpoint. After that, we would be uh, you know having a question answer round with all of the panelists in terms of the things that I have gathered from various students or have been gathering from various students. And, and taking through one by one with all of the panelists in terms of talking them through as to how their journey has been and what they think can be a good contribution factor for the student. So that's a nutshell, my friend, I had from the introduction standpoint, I would uh, you know, uh, roll over to uh, Rahul to just kickstart this and share your perspective, Rahul. We all look forward to you. Sure, Pankaj, thank you very much. And, uh... That was a very warm and kind welcome. I think um, it's 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 a, it's always a pleasure to be able to come and share a perspective on, on the employer side with future members of ACCA, uh, and uh, and also be able to showcase what is it that ACCA is doing in in the area of employability. Um, just one request, Pankaj, I'm un unable to share my screen. I think it it will require you to give me access to be able to share my screen. I think you'll have to give me the presenter access. Yeah, now I can now I can access my uh, now I can share my screen. Just one moment. Uh, would like to confirm you're able to see my presentation. Sorry, yes, we can. Yes, okay, we can. Great. Great. Thank you. So I think uh, the most obvious thing that we've been wanting to talk about uh, at least over the last one year or so is the new normal. You know, I'm sure that all of you would have heard this term time and again, uh, you know, either with your friends, parents, family, um, you know, your relatives or maybe in your school or maybe in your college or where you're working. Uh, so we wanted to talk about employability in the new normal because I think this is something which is of real importance as you go towards becoming future ACC members and ACC members and look out for employment opportunities. So work uh, and, and some of these slides are basis research that ACCA does extensively across the world. Uh, and, and I just wanted to give you a perspective as to how work is transforming. So the first uh, thing that we observe from our research is that um, work is, of course, transforming significantly, as you can see from the survey that we did uh, on meaningful work in the digital age, uh, which was done in collaboration with EY last year. Uh, we, we can already see that uh, there is significant amount of change taking place with respect to the kind of work that is happening. And, uh, you know, also with respect to the way the profession is being looked upon, uh, the, the entire scope of how a finance and accountancy profession, professional is expected to now deliver value is, is taking a complete uh, change uh, from an industry perspective. And that is also happening because of technology, because there's so much of technology being used that the nexus between human and machine is, is very, very visible. But that is where humans are taking the next step in being able to ensure that the higher value work is something that they're able to deliver and the machine is able to do uh, more of the data work uh, or more of the data grinding. And uh, the humans are able to come back with more insights, more thoughts, uh, more strategy uh, 
uh, in terms of driving business forward and if you can if you can actually see uh, on the screen just below there is a chart which talks about how quickly do you expect the change to take place in the career in india specifically when we ran the survey we said uh, the, the the findings actually said that within the next 2 years majority of our respondents said that there is an expected change in the career due to happen because of the um, environmental changes because of the social changes that are taking place not just because of uh, covid but also because of the use of technology and that is where employers are now beginning to rethink on how their teams will operate and work together even in a virtual environment that we are currently living in so what does this mean uh, in terms of shaping your careers for the future so again in 2019 acca did a piece of research uh, which which focused on the changing role of finance and accountancy professionals and based on this research we were able to come up with 20 trends now i'll not go through all of these because there are for you to view and uh, see but have a look at some of the most important points over here or some of the most striking points look at point number 11 which says cv is rip what does that mean what it really means is that the future of jobs or future of a human being being able to get a job will depend more on the skills that you've been able to get rather than your job title so the moment you are able to showcase your technical and soft skills uh, your abilities to an employer that will get you going not just in terms of your first job <clears throat> but also in terms of your own career progress that will become more and more important and then of course uh, you know uh, digital plays a lot of role in in the way recruitment is happening so number 20 is that technology is transforming the world in terms of how recruitments is happening so you'll have to get adapted to the fact that you could be speaking to someone over a video conference to be able to get your next job uh in the same piece of research that we did uh in 2019 uh, early 2019 we also spoke about having five career zones for future accounting professionals and finance professionals these five uh center around the competence or the skills for you to be able to become either an assurance advocate which is someone whom the uh whom the organization is able to entrust and look upon for direction uh you could be a business transformer who could be the architect of any organizational change or any change that requires the business to grow forward you could be a data navigator which is really leveraging data and analytics to be able to come up with uh, more and more insights and become a partner to business you could be a digital playmaker which could be <clears throat> becoming more and more oriented towards technology you have a liking for technology of course uh, without a doubt uh, the today's generation or your generation is much more adept to technology uh, so that becomes easier and then lastly uh, you could also be a sustainability trailblazer where you're focusing a lot more on how to make sure that the organization is sustainable over a period of time and not thinking short term so those are some interesting career observations that we could see from our research report which is again available on our website uh, and i'll encourage you to go and download uh, from our website or use the acc insights app to be able to review some of these research reports now coming to the main point of what employability really means uh, at acc we focus on three e's as we call them when it comes to the acc qualification or rather when it comes to towards your journey towards membership the first he talks about completing your examinations which is the core which is your which is you building your technical ability through the acc qualification uh, so once you complete the 13 papers of the acc qualification you then move to the next point of your uh, journey towards membership which is the ethics and professional skills module to ensure that you are ethical professional and um, you're living the values of acca which is very very core to uh, what we do the third e resonates with the experience of what you need to be able to gain uh, after completing your qualification and the ethics and professional skills module you will require 36 months or 3 years of work experience in the in a finance and accountancy role before you can apply it for an acca membership so this 3e journey will ensure that you have all the requisite skills and competence to be able to become a acc member so talking a little about employability which i'm sure that each one of you want to know as to what is it that acc is doing 
Uh, so at least uh, in terms of employability, you know, ACCA, because we, I also mentioned that we do a lot of research. We've been using uh, our research, which is called professional insights to be able to connect with employers, not only to enhance and build the visibility and awareness, but also to be able to get their views on some of the most related topics in finance and accountancy, which keeps a CFO awake or a business leader awake at any point of time um, in the year. This enables us to not just get inputs from a specific market, but a global perspective, which we're then able to disseminate and share. And it also enables us to relook at the ACC qualification from a point of view of saying that, okay, what is it that we need to do to be able to make sure that the qualification stays business relevant at any given point of time. Second, we are focusing on developing more and more partnerships as we move ahead. Some of these partnerships are very strategic in nature. In 2018 and 19, we joined hands and did an MOU with National Human Resource Development Network and Institute of Human Resource Development, which are organizations or professional networks focused on the HR fraternity with the objective of being able to increase our awareness among HR uh, professions across the country. Subsequently, we also joined hands with and signed an MOU with the Shared Services Forum, as you would know. That shared services sector is one of the largest sectors from a service standpoint in India and contributes significantly to not just our GDP, but also in terms of the employment opportunities that exist across the country. Uh, so we are we have an MOU with them, which is again of strategic nature. We have an MOU with NASCOM again, a very renowned trade association of uh, India, which focuses on the IT and the BPO industry. Our arrangement or an MOU with NASCOM is focused towards developing the research agenda to ensure that both bodies are able to create some real value research, which will benefit members uh, of both professional networks. So this is the most interesting slide that I'm able to present because it really talks about the growing demand for ACC in India. As you see that uh, in, in 2016, so ACC as a professional body has its own job portal. Uh, we have our own job portal called jobs.accglobal.com where we encourage employers to come and post jobs to be able to recruit our future members and members. Now in 2016, and that's the time where thereabouts when I, when I started my journey with ACCA, uh, we had about 75 job postings on the ACCA career portal. And uh, till about last fiscal year, we've had over 3,700 jobs being posted. It's a matter of pride for us to be able to share that even the COVID has not slowed us down and we've been able to, uh, you know, really get employers to look at uh, recruiting in ACC future members and members, even during the pandemic with posting over 3,300 jobs uh, this year. Now, interestingly, you can see the different sectors and employers, which gives you a, a good variety of uh, options to choose from. It gives you a good purview of what, what the different industries uh, require or what is the diversity that ACC as a qualification is able to offer to you once you complete the qualification in terms of the job opportunities. So you could be working with one of the leading brands uh, or the Fortune 500 brands across the country uh, just by merit of having completed your ACC qualification. Besides the, uh, besides the job portal, ACCA is also renowned for innovation. So we were the first professional body to start our virtual career fairs and we started uh, our virtual career fairs way back in 2018. So we recently concluded our fourth virtual career fair in the month of October 2020, where we had over 2100 attendees and over 400 jobs that were created by 14 employers across the country who, who were keen to recruit ACCA future members and members. So it was a very, very engaging platform, day full of action because we had interactions, live Q&A with not only ACCA members, but uh, other colleagues from, um, from ACC as well as other employers uh, who came in and shared their tips uh, with our future members and members. So let's take a pause and I'd like to show you a short video uh, to, to help you understand as to what is it that employers are really saying about ACCA.
It's a global challenge to attract and retain high quality talent. This program recognizes high standards of staff training and development that we have, which attracts people to come and join Sanwa. They feel they can learn while they are working. We have access to the job portal, virtual job fairs, and an opportunity to visit campuses where students are already pursuing the ACC course. It helps us in networking with the potential or the prospective candidates. And recently, we had participated in a job fair and we almost got 400 applications. So this is how it has helped us in recruiting people. ACC has a very strong curriculum which will help in building capabilities of individuals in the technical areas of accounting. In the cargo business services centers, our focus is on three domains of record report, credit to cash and invoice to pay. And the ACC qualification provides employees an opportunity to build skills in these three core areas. In future, we also have other skills which we need to develop as skills in FPNA, in analytics, in financial risk management. And we see the ACCA qualification helping our employees to go into the next level as we build our capabilities in the sectors. All our employees are proud of being the ACCA members or students. They get a good exposure in our company in the field of accounting, taxation, mm -hmm. compliances, and which helps them to get their membership faster. So there are two such events that you know I was fortunate to be part of. The first one was an event organized on the World Ethics Day, uh, which had about 50, 55 participants. Now this whole program had about two segments. One was a presentation on a research done by ACCA on ethics at workplaces. And then it was very interactive with other members sharing their own experiences asking very probing and pointed questions. So that gave an opportunity to me to not only network and meet my peers from other industries, but also hear the perspective, not only from the research, but also of all the participants of what they felt of ethics in their respective work areas. With the right kind of training and course material, we have been able to manufacture an in-house talent. We have been able to improve the work culture because of ACC. As we go by into the future and as we build centers of excellence on various areas like intercompany reconciliation, lease accounting, RPA, blockchain, as we build these capabilities, we see ACCA as a qualification which will be very core to employees going to the next level. As we go to the third dimension of growth in our centers on process ownership, we see the technical skills provided by the ACCA qualification will help our employees to go into the process ownership capabilities. Today, the business processes are not that simple as they used to be. The new companies like GST, the new accounting standards, IFRS, they all require a different set of people. And we believe that the ACCA students, they fill the gap. We have offices in China, Europe, Middle East, and we are looking out for more countries. International accounting is our core requirement and we feel that ACCA qualification will help us. Today the competencies have changed from the transactional accounting to knowledge accounting and we want our finance team to be book -added. So just circling back, as you could see, um, you know, a lot of the employers have shared their views on how the ACCA qualification is actually enabling business growth for their organizations. And that is where you as a future member of ACCA could add, add more value. Uh, my final slide talks about the ACCA membership opportunity or your part towards becoming a global uh, or your part towards having a access to global network of ACCA uh, members across the world. Uh, it's a matter of pride that once you complete your qualification and be able to apply for membership, you'll be a part of this unique group of over 227,000 members that we have uh, across the world and be able to uh, you know, gain insights from your membership. So that's where I'll in stop and encourage you uh, to really pursue the qualification, to really be able to think of a career opportunity. You've heard from employers, you've seen the demand, growing demand for, for ACC within India. So... Um, I would, I would 
urge you to start thinking about your learning journey and start thinking about ACC as a qualification. Thank you. Thanks, Rahul. Thanks. It was really insightful. And I can tell you, you know, adding a video certainly certainly gives a very real time flavor of you know what exactly uh, various corporates are looking at because you know coming directly from the horse's mouth really really has a lot of uh, um, I would say value in terms of you know what students or anyone uh, has to really gather. But you know one thing that and uh, you know while the presentation was going, one question that came up and I I just want to ask it over here to you Rahul because somewhere this question. Uh, I would say resonate to what uh, you wanted to convey as a message, but I really want you to answer this. The question that came up, you know, while sure, you sure. were uh, 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 presenting was, sir, I am a C final student and I also want to start ACCA, but somebody told me that only big four company hires you in India. And if big four doesn't hire you, then you become jobless. Now this is, I, I, I just read it because I want it to be loud and clear to folks that, you know, this was what the question was because Many of the folks would have that in their mind. And I, you know, happy to have you, Rahul or Himanshu, anyone who, who would want to answer it. But over to you, Rahul. Yeah, I think um, first of all, I do see Himanshu smiling as well on that question. And uh, given the fact that we've also shared with you that you know it's you know these these 3,700 jobs that we posted last year and the 3,300 jobs that we posted this year are not just from big fours. You know, I, I showed through my presentation that there's a huge diversity in our sectors or, or even the demand um, for the qualification or for the talent that is coming through from ACCA. So it's not just the big four. I, I, I think there's, there's this myth that if you do a qualification such as ACC, you'll only get a job opportunity with a big four. That's a myth. I think if you look at the diversity that we are able to create through uh, through uh, your employees working in the employees from the gaming industry, from the agriculture food industry, uh, from IT services, uh, you know, uh, I, I did show you some of the names as well. So I think it's just a just a mat matter of actually going to the you know if if you really want to be able to see the kind of opportunities go to jobs.accglobal.com and select India as the country and see the number of job postings over there. You will get to see the diversity in jobs, which is not just EY or you know the other big force, but you'll see other brand names also over there. Sorry, you're on mute, Pankaj. Sorry. Do you, do you want to add anything, Yamanchu? Thanks. Thanks, Raul, for that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh... This is a question I think all I get almost once a month or twice a month on my LinkedIn also. Okay. Because people do come, they see, okay, the person is CA plus ACCA. Sir, is it beneficial? You made it to KPMG and EY or whatever. So I'll give you two personal examples. There is a company called ExoNobel, Dulex Paints, like Dulex, 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 that jingle, I'm sure all of us would remember. When I moved from EY to ExoNobel, they were looking for someone, one who knew IFRS, second who knew consolidation so that when they're consolidating their accounts globally, they're in Netherlands, they have set of brains who can do IFRS implementation here in India. Okay. So that's one. And there's not one. I mean, with FDI increasing and with India's story, you know, growing and India, I mean, let's leave apart the Corona thing. Otherwise, if you look at last five years, I don't think uh, we are we are less than anyone. I mean, while US and all have grown at single digit, we are almost about to touch double digit. So that's one. Let's say my current uh, place where I am uh, exclusively working with uh, a very huge uh, global education giant, which are into, you know, UK university education. First requirement was we need an ACCA because the person has to has a global exposure. He needs to know IFRS very, very well. And he should have traveled around the world. So, so they were very clear that we want ACCA, CA, you know, adds on. So it's, and I'm excluding, uh, you know, big four examples that if you are there, you are actually, I mean, whomsoever has asked the question, you know, you are in CA final, you are almost on verge of one great degree. If you add another one, you have no idea at every stage in your life, every five years, when you will sit for promotion panels, when you will go for director panel, when you will go for all interviews, when you want to change, it will be much easier a journey for you as compared to someone who only has one degree and remove it completely from, I mean, as Rahul rightly said, why don't you go and check on the website and just see what is the percentage 
out of these thousands of number how many are actually from big four and how many are from other industry so so i i completely agree with uh, rahul that you know that's that's a clear myth well covered demanchu and thanks for that one thing that i really want to add on and again i'm wearing a very different hat on to it this is the question that comes for any any financial qualification else than chartered accountancy i can tell you that now if you are doing cpa people will ask about cpa if you are doing acca people will ask about acca if you are doing cpa australia people will ask about the same thing that do you only have like big fours because by default our brain works that you know big fours would need them because they are the you know they are ones who hire these people but world doesn't end at that you know at, at there you know when i did uh, so you know i did ca and then i did my cpa and i completely completely echo your thoughts himanshu that your pedigree of having a discussion at the forums that you just spoke becomes very different and your scalability and your growth uh, in terms of uh, the speed of the growth really changes if you really have those additional qualifications but it is not only big fours that need them you know there are plethora of opportunities and there are you know kind of globalization now we have where you know kind of global companies you know right now are there in india they need a very variety and diverse talent and all of us have to have it to demonstrate it so you know in nutshell it's not only the big fours there is a lot to look on to it you just do not even think about you know such in in the closed doors there is a lot to lot to look forward to it yeah i think pankaj if i could uh, possibly add this one more point that you know when you when as a student you look at the acc qualification there's there's also a, you know we have something known as the competency framework on our website so go to the competency framework and kind of see the different competencies that you are able to develop and each of those competencies are linked to certain job roles you know so you'll also get a good perspective of what are the different job roles that you are able to do as an acca uh, because again you know when you start thinking about a chartered accountancy qualification your immediate thought by default bends towards the big four but when you look at the competency framework it will actually change your uh, entire uh, thought process because you say that oh wow you know i could actually be a financial analyst as well you know why restrict myself to just one organization i could be doing uh, financial anal- anal- analysis at maybe nivya for example uh, so you know that there, there's a lot of in- a thought process that needs to be fine tuned and that can be done by uh, you visiting some of these uh, portals and web pages to be able to get more information and one thing one thing that is outstanding rahul and i really want to comment uh, as a compliment over here comment as a compliment you know what a statement as a compliment over here is that you know acc providing such kind of tools it self showcases that how diverse and how much value adding they are to the students in terms of bringing these things to life nobody else i have seen so i have i am member of you know two governing bodies in terms of you know the professional bodies if i may say but i have not seen i have not seen such a kind of portals and tools being available to the students where they can go and they can do something like you know competency framework it's a big term and not you know i would say not not like mid tier uh, uh, even mid tier or you know the senior mid tier kind of corporates would have it it's only the tier 1 tier 2 fortune 500 companies would have something like you know competency framework and you know the kind of uh, uh, modality the way the way it works so you know glad that you just cited out and i will certainly go myself and see that and to the students it certainly certainly adds value to you in terms of having that insights so thanks to all for mentioning that uh coming on to you know one thing that i have been overhearing uh, a lot and uh, you know this is something maybe to you himanshu if you can really pick pick it up from us uh what is that that corporates are really looking forward to from the from the futuristic hiring standpoint so if and i know this can be a very very broad answer but if you can really circle it down for student to really understand or aspirants to really look forward to that will be really great so i think i will actually bifurcate into two three pieces okay you hire people at starting level where jobs are more of transactional level your skill set competencies will be evaluated differently you come to middle level and you come to senior level okay now at a starting level see the base competencies required if i need you know to expand to four more branches this year i know i need at least three more executives one for my tech team one for my uh, you know global reporting team so basic qualification is must okay if you believe that you know 
there is no difference between pursuing acca and being a bcom graduate you are wrong i mean i will not even pick a cv if it it doesn't have the basic qualification required for that job coming on to middle level what have is what you have is good to have like like if you are an acca and you have let's say scored or or let's say you know add on qualifications your add on uh, experiences and i interviewed someone uh, you know last week and he was like uh, you know what i have pursued so and so course and then i have updated myself regularly i did this training on microsoft excel and i know it very well i can really run around macros and this so that was interesting now third thing is what gives you an edge at a senior level because more you move up the ladder right you are uh, in a way let's say if today i want to go and join uh, city bank i can't do that only if i would have joined a bank 15 years back i would have you know moved up to that direction so there your your career path are already chosen in your 5 to 7 years so there your you know adaptability to change if i can say the way charles darwin has said i think around 150 years ago it's it's not the best strongest uh, of species that survive but most adaptive to change because there your management skill your leadership skills value you know more how big are the teams that you have handled how good there it won't matter that you know i scored a gold medal in this subject because that you scored 15 years back then after what has been your delivery and performance how much is the exposure if i am consolidating my global accounts i would need somebody who can you know talk to my accountant sitting in japan who has exposure you know working in uk i can send him to let's say a growing economy like china so my advice to forum here is one basics focus on basics life is it starts with basics right i mean you can dream of becoming sachin tendulkar but but he practices same shot 1000 times that's how he he gains mastery over that that's one two is keep yourself updated technology plays a key role it is a key enabler okay i mean not even for a second you believe oh this blockchain this these are all fancy thing technology is overrated no it's not it really simplifies life if if you know we talk about something like in accounts and finance payroll processing let's say now these things are all becoming more transactional and more automated with time we need more human brains who can really put things on the table where you know you will come up and and you will act as a brain of the organization proactively if we will do this this is the cost benefit analysis forex treasury management so so you will need to you know think on those lines that i need to keep myself enabled on that and the surrounding of so if if you are a finance uh, student and you are not reading one editorial of economic times or financial times per day i think you are missing out on bigger picture it is not that you should go and cram uk's finance minister speech or anyone so so yeah i'll just leave it with three things basics let's say degree i'll first need an acca then if you are 5 plus year of experience what exactly have you done more and then if you are 15 plus year experience how you know you have edged over a period of time and how you have shaped into a greater transformation from manager to leadership so so that's that's my take on this No, I think very well covered, Imanchu. And you know, one thing that I can tell you as an overarching uh, statement to this, which I I personally feel has has led to uh, you know my growth in terms of you know how it happened over the period of time, is that one should really have butterflies in their stomach. One should really have butterflies. You have to have the hunger. You have to have the hunger of having something something different in you. in comparison to your competitor i'm only saying competitor you know for the lack of better word but it's it's all the more important that you're able to demonstrate something something different now that can be uh, your your exceptional knowledge to technology that can be your exceptional excel knowledge that can be your exceptional ppt skills that can be your exceptional communication skills and what not i'm again i'm not saying that you know choose one over the other but you know you have to stand different and how and what you would need to do in that direction is something you should be looking forward to always always means always that you know even now even you know himanshu for now must be thinking something in his mind that you know what should i be doing should be doing from the futuristic futuristic standpoint rahul has you know have it in his mind i have it in my mind because we all have our own circle of people you know with which we live with which we work with which we compete with so you know 
in, in a nutshell, one should have the butterflies. That's how I would I would I would probably cover it up if I may say that. Yeah, if I can just add one more point, I think uh, not only having butterflies, I think the entire perspective of being able to do a job for for me, love what you do and do what you love, right? That is very very important. Because if you're not doing what you love and you you're not loving what you do, then there is a huge disconnect. So if you're not doing that, then of course the butterflies will never come in your stomach because you'll always be, you know, grunting or uh, you know always questioning as to what is it that you're doing. So I think for you to be able to have that drive to be able to learn, it's always important that you really focus uh, and and do the right thing, which is in the form of loving what you do and do what you love. Very rightly said. Right, and if I can just add here, Rahul, I I like to give a, a current example. Like we just uh, closed our annual accounts of December 2020, and uh, I have a couple of team members, obviously spread over the globe. So one of them has updated himself on IFRS 16 because somewhere auditors told him that next year, you know, IFRS 16 will be applicable. So obviously he did his homework and he was very well looking forward to it. Whereas let's say someone has not done. Now, if you have not updated yourself. Technically, now if you know, then you are looking forward to it. Then you will enjoy your work. If you are not, it it just becomes Latin and Greek because you can't really connect to it. That what IFRS sixteen, what are the requirements or it are raising, which with which vision they are looking at a certain thing. So so I mean, more prepared you are, more uh, you know you put into uh, into your learning, more you will enjoy your job. So I think it marries well as as per me, if, if I can say so. very rightly said one thing that that uh, that came to me was bit um, off track question if i may say that uh, but i think there is merit in terms of you know taking that up and pravanshu maybe you can help us out on that by by taking that up question that came up was is acc an easy qualification than the then the you know the rest of the world so and if if that so can you know uh, If, as an if the question came up in a way that is it an easy qualification and if that is that then then I would like to do it. So just just want to have your thoughts in terms of you know you how do you think about it? Thank See, you, Pankaj, for this question. Uh, yeah. okay. Relevant and uh, and yet uh, most uh, often asked the question that is ACCA easy? Look, there are two points. One is uh, something being easy and something being difficult is a very subjective matter. i i am from a science background i have studied physics and mathematics and i find that very easy and i find finance a bit difficult maybe somebody else would find maths or probably physics difficult and some other subject easier so it's very subjective number 1 number 2 is and which is equally important rather more important point than this is that all the professional bodies across the world they carry certain standards there is a minimum benchmark as far as the rigor of the syllabus and the rigor of the evaluation is concerned so acc i would say is equally rigorous to all the qualifications in the professional accountancy world are concerned at the same time i would say that this is more flexible than any other qualification so because there is no grouping and imagine a situation where you are preparing for uh, say Three months for one paper, instead of preparing four papers in six months, there is more chances that the students would pass in the former case, right? And that's why I would say that is is qualifying ACCA uh, is uh, I mean uh, one can easily qualify ACCA because it is flexible. It is not because it is easy or less rigorous. Uh, Himanshu, you would like to add something. I mean, you are an ACCA member yourself. No, I'll I'll actually take it this way. See, uh, I think at a juncture where you are yet to start your journey, you will go into a professional qualification. You will qualify, then you will start working from you know junior to mid level to senior, and finally to leadership levels. I think it's it's one long journey. You should think about enjoying that journey. Now, what really happens is. this the thing called as easy or difficult either i understand the thing or i don't okay now when let's say if i am struggling with something even till today let's say i'm discussing something with with anyone and and i'm just struggling with what exactly is this thankfully today we have tools and we have enablements when i 
I was pursuing my ACCA, there were no coaching institutes. There were nothing. There were no YouTube channels. There were no help. I remember I used to go to British Council, take some books on loan, you know, make my notes and return back. But today, if you are stuck up with a concept, there are, you know, one, there are well-established, you know, centers who will help you out. They have predefined set parameters of training, of evaluation of everything. So they, they really make you understand this. So, so I have never been able to, uh, you know, correlate to it, oh, whether CA is easy or whether, see, this is a concept of financial uh, management. There is a concept of, let's say, if you're going through IFRS 16, either you understand how literature is built, how this is done, it, it just becomes easy for you because you understand you will start enjoying or you don't understand it at all, then you need to find a way to understand it. So, so that's how I'll put it. So don't bother your mind. If it is easy, then I'll go for it. Don't worry. There are, there are enough of, uh, you know, uh, help available. Let's say if, if you decide and join, okay, Pankaj, I, I want to surrender. I want to qualify. All you have to see hard work, uh, uh, you know, you'll have to put. Don't think that sitting at home for one year enjoying and you will pass. No, sorry. If you don't get qualification, if you don't have that in you, like Pankaj said, you will always, you should have butterflies in your stomach. And that's how your learning path is great. So, so that's how I'll, I'll uh, take it. So there are no easy rides, my friend. You know, ride is a ride. You should enjoy it. And uh, right, every ride comes with a different uh, uh, experience. So just keep enjoying it. Coming on to one more thing that I have, Rahul, and, uh, and feel free, uh, Himanshu, if you want to jump in and, and answer that. One thing that most of the students and, of course, even the freshers have been asking is that what are these like two, three, five, you know, things that are must from the future standpoint that they should have in them? Barring the qualification itself, but, you know, you being the veterans in the industry, you being the veterans in the, in the field, what would that, that you would suggest three, four, five things that, um, you know, that students should surely look forward to from the futuristic standpoint. And this is more, not only from the, from the survival standpoint, but also from the growth standpoint. I think uh, in, in our conversation with employers, some of the most common things that they actually highlight when it comes to, um, you know, the next generation is, is and there's also a, a very interesting report that we're doing, which should be out in April, uh, called Generation Z, <clears throat> Generation Z, which talks about this generation and their aspirations. Uh, but but I think besides the qualification, besides the technical ability, I think it's it's more around your thought process as to what is your ambition, what is your vision with your life, what is it that you want to be able to achieve, um, what is it that you are going to bring to the table uh, when you are working with an employer. Not just it, it can't be that you just want to earn money, right? It it can't be that it is just a very commercial transaction because you want to earn money. You're you're going to work. No, is that something that again? Is that something that you're doing as a passion? Is that something that you're going to love to do or you love doing uh, because of which you're coming to work? Um, the, the second thing is being able to, uh, like Himanshu mentioned, adaptability. I think adaptability is very, very important because as the world is changing, as the requirements across the globe are changing because of digital, because of, um, you know, um, a lot of other factors that are, that are into play, uh, regulations, etc., I think the, the, the more flexible you, you are, the more uh, opportunist, opportunist you are in, in that aspect, uh, the easier it would be for you to keep growing up the ladder. Third is continuous learning. I think uh, after completing even your ACCA qualification, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. You should keep updating yourself uh, in terms of your content, in terms of your knowledge, because uh, if you, if I take a similar example, you know, if you, if you go to a doctor, a doctor is always updated with even the latest diseases, the treat, treatment, the medi medication that is available. And that is because they keep reading, because they keep updating themselves. So think about yourself as a doctor for a business who's, who has to update themselves uh, with the latest know-how and knowledge to be able to ensure that your patient, which is your business, goes happy at the end of the day with uh, better decision making and partnership uh, with the business. Anything Prabhanshu, Bhimanshu, you would want to add on? 
Yeah, exactly. I think uh, Rahul has covered it very well. Uh, uh, in fact, I would just uh, like to add an example. I, I started my article ship in the great year of Y2K when we were all afraid world is going to collapse. So I remember uh, when I started my article ship, there was a, a peon of income tax office who used to come to our office that your refunds are all ready. Checks have come. Please come and see sir in office. Okay. Now, you know, you will go physically, you will... Uh, see where ITO sits, who, which inspector is holding check. From there to today, around 20 years, if you see today, everything is so damn automated. You will file your income tax returns, your refunds will come automatically, everything will happen on its own. Similarly for, I mean, organizations, when we, I remember we used to burn midnight oil and costing and, and close your books of accounts and prepare MIS from there to automation level. So, so as, as Rahul rightly said, see, technology will move at its own pace. You have to keep ahead. I mean, you have to be ahead of it. If you are ahead of it, people will be looking forward to you, right? Just because you have qualified ACCA, it's not that you should relax. I mean, that's a fantastic thing you have done. You have really crossed the mountain and then, you know, the real uh, uh, journey begins. So, so somewhere you have to be... Uh, know that, that the changes will be far more and far more. Uh, it will come at a pace which you will not even imagine. So you have to always keep abreast of technological changes, technical changes, your own literature, you know, if I is 15, 16, 17, if I have qualified 10 years back, there was no, I mean, IFRS at that time, but which, you know, we have gone changes and all. So, so that's, that's the whole key and, and the strength and definitely, you know, you should love what you are doing and, and it, it marries well, as I said. So, yeah. I think very well covered, Rahul uh, Imanchu. Thanks. Thanks for that. I could, I could correlate a few things, you know, uh, and I can repeat that. One is, of course, the continuous learning that I noted down. I, I was noting down, you know, while you were talking on this. Technology is, is going to be the giant. So, everyone and anyone should look upon to it. And third is adaptability, Rahul, which you beautifully mentioned that that's going to be the key. You can't really come up and survive and grow and grow without being adaptable. So beautifully said. And of course, you know, one thing that I would add, add on to it, you know, as you grow, people's skills really, really matters. So that's again, something to look about. I have a last question. And I think this is for you, Swati. And this is again, you know, something that has been coming up from various uh, students. Um, how is FinTram supporting this employability initiative? You know, how, you know, you being the approved learning partner, how are you thinking through this? and so on and so forth. So, so throw some light on that so that, you know, we can really you know, cope up with it. Thanks, Pankaj, for asking this question. Firstly, Fintram Global is an approved learning partner for ACCA. We are helping our students through three different modalities. Uh, basically, firstly, we are providing the course curriculum. The course curriculum that Fintram is providing to our students is very practical and industry oriented. Second thing is that the faculties, the faculties that FinTram is uh, basically they are hiring. These faculties are themselves the industry experts. They are providing the proper guidance, the industry guidance to the students, the practical guidance in terms of to clear their exams or to excel in their exams. And third is the awareness, the awareness in terms of providing these type of webinars to the students and uh, providing them the knowledge, the requirement, the scope of ACCA, that how they can do, how they can work out everything, each and everything. And to an extension to this is that towards the employability, as Fintram Global is having its Telegram channel, that Telegram channel is totally dedicated for the ACCA students, for them, all the job openings related to ACCAs are posted over there. And yes, my dear friends, all the students, those who are listening, uh, those who are attending this webinar, they can join this Telegram channel. And over here, all the job openings related to ACCA, be it in India, as well as across the globe, are shared with the students and they can join it free of cost. It's nothing that they have to pay for this uh, job openings or they can apply anywhere. So this is something in whole, uh, Fintram is providing in whole a package in terms of providing the knowledge in terms of the curriculum plus the experience that they are getting from the
uh, faculties, the experts, those we have appointed at FINTRAM, and plus the job opportunities in total. Thank you. Thanks, Swati, for that. You know, I think it was very well covered. In nutshell, you know what what we uh, intend to you know share and 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 give it to give it to the student fraternity is that and what is more important is the awareness and i think that is going to be the key that is key that you know anyone and everyone should be aware in terms of you know how things are changing and what they should be doing and uh, glad that you mentioned uh, these webinars uh, swati i think because these webinars are are a very strong step in that direction because all these guidance all these videos all these webinars all these forums are the ones wherein you know people understand as to what all things are and how things are really evolving because the more they will know the more they'll work in that direction so glad you you mentioned that i think that's uh, you know we are just about the time so don't want to you know take up the time and 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 you know what we really signed off so i would say you know thank you uh, to everyone uh, you know for for being here and and uh, you know thanks to all the all the panelists to you know of course uh, uh, take out the time and 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 being here and 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 answering and discussing such a uh, in such a great length uh, all i would say is this is just the beginning my friend rahul uh, himanshu we might trouble you again and again and again depending upon where we might need you so would be uh, uh, humbly requesting you as many times as possible and of course you know look forward to your time it was pleasure to have you here um, and look forward thank you ms pankaj uh, for sure, having thank you. you so much everyone thank you a lot and i have not forgotten you prabhanshu thank you so much to you too for really helping us really create something like this this really bridges uh, you know where students want to reach and where they can reach so many thanks to you and to the entire student fraternity for joining it thank you pankaj i think himani is also here i mean she has just joined in from my link <laughs> i'm sorry himani no offense <laughs> thank you everyone for joining in uh, thanks pankaj for having us to have this opportunity to interact uh, with the students thank you rahul and himanshu for your contribution certainly look forward for the many more such, such sessions thank you thank you everyone look forward have a good day thank you okay. thank you are wait wait it seems that most of you who are watching this video have not subscribed to our channel you would miss the new videos and the updates subscribe now and press the bell icon